Yo, what's going on, 67 Live Squad? Today we're doing a ranked 1v1, and I'm playing Poseidon because Poseidon is not in Smite 2 yet. And uh, not only is he not in Smite 2, he's actually... He's not in Smite 2, and he's not even planned to be in Smite 2. Not yet, at least. Not from what I've seen. But uh, I want to... I don't know who this person is, so I'm going to meme a little bit. Which maybe I shouldn't do because it is Bakasura and he could mess me up pretty bad. But I want to go full attack speed with Hastened and just see what happens. I mean, I guess I should just start Telekines because I just need some sort of life still in the beginning. Maybe. Baka Poseidon is a good matchup. It's not a bad matchup. I think it's pretty even. If Bakasura gets on the Poseidon and the Bakasura has beads, Poseidon just dies. But on the flip side, like, so the reason it's decent for Baka is because Baka can CC immune, Kraken by alting and then bursting down the Poseidon faster. But if the Baka, like he has a very little margin for error. He has to CC or CC immune. The Kraken, somehow, whether it's Beads or his ult, he just straight up has to. And then, oh, he's going to invade me, but he, but he couldn't. So he has to do that. And then on top of that, he has to be ready to like... Are you dead? No. I thought maybe he'd die there. But on top of CCing or CC immuning my Kraken... He has to also be ready to burst me while CCing me or like immuning my CC. I have no mana. That's why like generally speaking, him using his two, like generally speaking, if he uses his two while fighting me, he will die because it locks you into an, to an animation that you just can't break out of. You're just stuck in the eating a minion animation forever. So you never want to use your two as Bakasura in this matchup. Like if we're fighting actively. But if you use it right before the fight, not only does it like heal you, obviously get you back to like a fighting health. You gain protections too, which is really, really nice. Because if your goal is not to Aegis, the Kraken, but instead CC immune it and then burst through it, which should be this Baka's goal, as I said a few times now. If that is your goal, then the best way to do that would be to gain the protections from your two and then all in. Surprised you didn't go Thorns. Yeah, you don't go Thorns when you're playing a Magical God because Thorns is magical damage. That's exactly why you do not use your two as Bakasura during the fight. So he has Aegis and he could have Aegis to survive that, but he was locked in that minion eating animation like I mentioned before. That's why you have to be very careful as Bakasura in this uh, in this matchup here. I wasn't trolling. I wasn't trolling. It does have finished Frostbound, though. And he has an alt. And he has an Aegis. He has all of his stuff up. I probably shouldn't fight here. I'm just going to try to farm and wait for, like, at least my shell to come back up. I'm going to go this way. If I wait for at least my shell to come up, then I'll be fine. I'll be fine. matchup seems in your favor it's pretty close it's just like i'd say it's in my favor it's in poseidon's favor maybe like 60 40 because the bakasara has to play it so correct whereas the poseidon just like gets to live his life basically oh that is crazy he lived i tried to bait him in closer so i could get the uh the kill on him but oh i'm dead i am i am dead here i gotta run Hmm. 
I would turn and fight, but he got that treasure chest and his move speed on top of the fact that he is frostbound, he'd just be able to kill me. I wouldn't be able to attack fast enough. Let's just go Hakata here. It's fine. It's a lot better to like drop a kill opportunity than it is to die trying to gain one. You know what I mean? I'm going to do damage here. When he jumps, he dies. Maybe he doesn't die. I forgot that he had ages up. No, he died. Nice. Nice. I could get his blue. Uh, probably not. Because of the way I'm building, just going the full attack speed, movement speed route, I really think my mana is going to be such a big issue that I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to utilize blue buffs. Like I can't just drop them and move on with my life. I actually have to like, I have to use them. I need mana. I also might go mana potions here too. Cause I have 8.6 mana regen and in smite two, the mana regen is, it shows you your per second regen. Um, but in smite one, it doesn't show you your per second regen. It shows you your, your per five seconds of regen. So I'm only getting eight mana, nine mana now every five seconds. If I didn't have the blue buff on, obviously blue buff offsets that a bit. Hello. Oh my, that is aggressive. Oh, you're dead. You are dead. That is unfortunate. He doesn't have Aegis up because I obviously I remember the last time I I fought him and he Aegis and he tried to live, but he didn't live. But his Aegis is down from the previous fight and then his ult is his only other form of CC immunity and he used it too early that fight. So it is free for me to just kind of go hyper aggro here and I can actually still go hyper aggro because he cannot box me if I'm sitting in my three. You're not eating that minion. He tried to eat that minion. Greedy, man. Greedy. He was trying to juke me and wanted to go eat the minion to get the health off and get the gold. And it's not worth losing 400 health to try to heal 100. Let alone die to try to heal. <laughs> he could have just ran away and been fine. I kind of want to go berserkers here, but I can wait that out. You don't have defense. Oh, you do have defense. All right, let's do this. Let's grab all the attack speed items first that I want, which are basically the four rings plus hastened. And then I could go berserkers, but I'm actually thinking maybe I might go. Um, I actually, I could go winged blade. It's kind of stupid. I mean, it's not kind of stupid. It is stupid because it's magical protection. But at the same time, bonk, at the same time, you, you do not win this. Like he could also just, just. He could just chase me down. I don't know. The reason I'm thinking Windblade might not be bad is simply because he has Frostbound and his alt is a slow, right? Like he has two different ways. Him just hitting me makes me faster with Wingblade, which I feel like would make me invincible, even though it gives magical protection instead of physical. Like me just being faster, I would, I feel like I'd be invincible. You die. I don't know what he's doing. I don't know what he's doing. Cause he, he started off pretty good. The first few minutes of the game, he didn't, he did an int. And then I guess he got a little far behind and lost the mental and just, just died from it. He's just, uh, he's inting now. He's just inting. 
I really want my hastened before he surrenders. I don't know. I mean, maybe he won't surrender. Where is he? He's not, he's not over there. There's nothing up on the map anywhere else. Dying early on Baki, you take the L? I don't think so, man. Like, even if you die early game on Baka, you can eat minions. You can jump out. You can alt. Even even if you alt just for the slow, you can use your minions to body block in the alt too to kind of turn fights. Your objective pressure is crazy. I don't know. I feel like... I feel like he's kind of vibing, to be honest. This is mine. Like... There's no way... I think he's just tilted. I think he, more than likely what's happening here is he's like, ah, fuck it. I lost anyway. Who cares? Let's go hastened. And then we'll go into Cyclopean here. The stick, thank you for the sub. I appreciate it. Yeah, I mean, I'm... At this point, he can't come back, right? Like... He's five levels down, 4,000 gold up. Holy crap, I am fast. He ages. Wait, but I'm so fast, does it even matter? Bro, I'm just, I'm just Sonic. Dude, I don't, I do not remember being this fast when I played Poseidon. Holy crap. Oh my god. Wait, this is crazy. What is he doing? What what he what can he do? What can he do to me? He can't do anything to me. Back up. Oh my god. What the hell? I, I just... I can just run in circles? I can just run in circles and punch him in the noggin whenever I feel threatened? That's crazy. That is actually crazy. <laughs> that did kind of look like speed hacking. I'm not even going to lie. Holy crap. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, guys, peace.